fat you eat is the fat you wear, and so their diet before it would be calorically dense just because it has more fat naturally. So I'm wondering, instead of maybe you know, reducing the amount of calories, just replacing them with uh, healthy food groups such as legumes, whole grains, fruits and vegetables. That would be a wonderful thing to do, although uh, I'm, uh, you know, the studies done on fatty whole plant foods, okay, like nuts and seeds, for example, yeah. you would expect, because they're so calorically dense, they have so much fat in them, that if you, you know, added a handful of walnuts to your daily diet, right. you gain weight, that's a lot of calories. Turns out that's actually not what happens, huh. um, and there's this remarkable consistency among um, trials, some uh, some uh, um, uh, supported by the nut industry, some others, mm -hmm. uh, some independent, showing that you don't get the expected weight gain you would, even though you're eating lots of fat, but it's okay. found in whole plant foods. There's a bunch of really fascinating theories as to why. I go through them in the videos. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, boost your metabolism. I mean, there are all sorts of really fascinating ways. The arginine in them. Um, uh, has some neat physiological effects. But basically, so I would, I would say stay away. Um, you know, we really need to minimize animal foods, junk foods. Right. I would encourage people to eat whole plant foods. And it's less important to me, you know, kind of the ratio of the macronutrients, you know, carbs, okay. fat, protein. It's really the source. As long as you're getting it from whole plant foods, that's, uh, I think that's the most important thing. Okay. Yeah, I do remember seeing those videos of you showing the studies with the nuts. If you can kind of just go into that, how is that possible? You know, you're eating so much calorically dense, you know, high fatty foods. Wh where do those calories go? Where do the calories disappear to? Um, uh, yeah, so I, um, trying to, let me just look, I'm trying to find the, the name of those videos just so people can go to them if they're sure. kind of fascinated by it. Um, yeah, I'll put him down in the description below, too. Okay, great, great. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, the video um, on the side, Nutrition Facts that are, it's called Solving the Mystery of the Missing Calories. Right. Um, and so that follows uh, a video called Nuts and Obesity, the Weight of Evidence, where I go through, you know, all every study in the last, I think, eight years that, have, that has looked at weight gain, the risk of overweight obesity, abdominal obesity with nut consumption, and uh, seeing that there's no, um, uh, that you don't get that kind of weight gain, where do the nut calories go? Um, and so I talk about some of the various um, theories, one of which um, is the so-called pistachio principle, um, which, uh, which basically suggests that, um, uh, that the nuts are such a pain to eat. Like if you had to sit down and actually eat pistachios and actually shell them each, right. I mean, it would just, I mean, it would just, you know, kind of your body's uh, enough already. I mean, even just having to chew them, um, uh, basically, uh, the more chewing you have to do, the, um, uh, the uh, you know, the more, uh, just kind of the tedium of chewing might make people eat less overall, but that wouldn't, um, um, and then uh, another one is the so-called fecal excretion theory, that many of the... Um, you actually excrete a lot of the fat found in nuts um, out the other end. I right. mean, there's only so much you can chew almonds, right? And you yeah. see those little pieces of almonds, you know, many of which kind of go right through you, and all the fat that was still contained in those little bits of almonds, um, you know, may not, not all get absorbed. So even though it says, oh, my God, this many almonds has this many calories, it only has that many calories if they get into your body, right? It doesn't matter how many calories make it to the toilet. So they um, tested these theories by comparing nuts to nut butters. Oh, that's okay, so then look, if we say, okay, almond butter versus almonds, then almond butter, you get all that fat, right? I mean, there's no yeah. little bits, right? Yeah. And you don't have to chew. I mean, you just suck it right down, right? Um, and then they did these, like, smoothie recipes where they used, like, walnut smoothies, where they made it so, you know, they blended it up. Mm -hmm. And they found out that they still didn't see the weight gain. Right? So they said, oh, forget, okay, so the whole pistachio thing, theory out the window, the whole fat excretion thing out the window, so what the heck is it? Um, it uh, probably um, the main reason is what's called the dietary compensation theory, where it shows that, I mean, if you add a handful of nuts to your daily diet, um, you know, it's a couple hundred calories, um, and that people, that diets are so, uh, nuts are so satiating, so filling, that even though they weren't told to replace nuts with something else, 
just naturally people would eat kind of 200 calories less of other foods throughout the day. Um, and so they, even though they were told, add, just eat whatever you were eating before, but add a handful or two handfuls of nuts to your daily diet, they said, okay, God, I'm going to get fat. All right, but they kept eating nuts. Um, but just because, you know, they felt so full and they're so yeah. packed with nutrition that the body, you know, they just ate less for supper without even thinking about it. And so if you actually calculate their diets, they were eating kind of 200 calories less without even thinking yeah. about it. And so thereby, you know, displacing um, uh, the other foods in their diet. And 90% of what people eat in this country is much less helpful than nuts, right? So you're displacing bad stuff. Yeah. You know, it's not like they weren't eating 200 calories of kale that day, <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, they were eating, and so it benefited their health overall. Um, and, um, and finally, the last bit is um, it turns out that when uh, we eat nuts, it actually boosts um, uh, the amount of fat we burn throughout the day. Um, so about 70% of the disappeared calories in nuts is, um, is uh, made up for in the, uh, in the uh, compensation. Um, but there's still 30% of the calories need to be um, accounted for. And they appear to kind of boost metabolism such that, um, um, uh, that, uh, that, 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 that we actually burn more fat kind of during when we sleep. Hmm. Um, uh, just because reading nuts, and whether that's because of the arginine, I have a whole video about that, right. or whether it's because of the polyphenols, these wonderful class of phytonutrients found in berries and green tea and other good foods, um, that also may kind of boost fat burning. So the combination, you add up all these pieces, and that's the 100% of calories. Um, and uh, so I encourage people to eat a handful of nuts or seeds. Seeds are even healthier than nuts, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, every day. And so, you know, you hear the typical, like, four plant food groups, fruits, vegetables, grains, and beans. Right. Whoa, let's, you know, what happened to nuts and seeds? <laughs> what happened to mushrooms? Where do mushrooms fit yeah. in? What, what about herbs and spices? It's all sorts of other things. Basically, you know, if it grew out of the ground, eat it.